Gas is from now on in short supply in Germany. Even if you don't feel it yet, we are in gas crisis. This is what German economy minister has recently said. So today we are going to deal with a very important topic, which is Russia has cut supplies to Europe. So our approach would be to deal with this topic. Our approach would be first we will understand the context of it, right? Then we will move to the historical background of this topic. Then we will also understand the uses of natural gas in Europe, and then we will also see how much Europe is dependent on Russia for gas for natural gas. And then we will also understand the importance of Nord Stream pipelines. And then finally, we will conclude our today's lecture with the with the alternatives, right? So first thing first, let's deal with the context. Context kya hai aaj ki particular topic ka? So recently, Russia Russia has cut supply to five of the European Union nations. उसमें से जर्मनी भी एक है विच इज द बिगेस्ट इकोनॉमी ऑफ यूरोपियन यूनियन राइट जो कि काफी हद तक रशिया के नेचुरल गैस पर डिपेंड करता है बी इट इट्स इंडस्ट्री विच डिपेंड्स अपॉन द रशियन गैस बी इट फॉर द जनरेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अगेन जर्मनी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द रशियन गैस But definitely, Russians are of the opinion that uh, since US has imposed some sanctions on Russians, इसी की वजह से they are facing certain technical issues and that is why they are unable to supply the gases. But definitely, the other world leaders are of the different opinions. They are saying that uh, no, this is just Putin's power politics. But again, we are not getting into the politics. We will stick to our topic. So recently, Russia's state gas company, which is Gazprom, they have slashed, which is this. Uh, company Gazprom, so they have slashed flows to the Nord Stream One pipeline to Germany by 60%. This you need to remember Nord Stream pipeline too. I will tell you the significance of Nord Stream pipeline too in a while, but as of now, just remember this Nord Stream pipeline too. So, the, so Russia has cut down their supply to 60% from the pipeline. All right, moving ahead. So in 1960s and 1970s, you, Europe actually used to, you know, produce roughly same amount of energy as it used to consume, right? But gradually it got decreased. Why it got decreased? Because because of this, because of this North Sea gas fields, as you can see here, these gas fields they got depleted, and these gas fields basically are uh, are the gas fields of which you know which 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 are in UK and Netherlands, right? So they are of this place. They uh, started depleting, and that is why Europe is now unable to produce that much of natural gas, right? But and over the same period of time, what has happened over the same period of time, Europe actually is also cutting down to coal. Okay, they are not using coal because they have to reach the target of carbon neutrality, which they have promised. Even in COP26, जो कि अभी Glasgow, UK में conduct हुई थी, उसमें भी Europe ने promise किया है to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. And we, अगर हम अपने country की बात करें, we have promised it to achieve it by 2070, right? So they are also cutting upon coal. And not just this, in addition to this, rather. If you remember about Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster of 2011, उसी के बाद से Germany is not investing into the nuclear energy. So what I'm trying to say is that they are majorly the European countries may, are majorly focusing upon the consumption of natural gas resources only. Right now, the next question could be that okay, but how they are consuming it, or what are the exact uses of natural gases in the European Union? All right. So for this. Just have a look at this. Look at this chart. Majorly, जो यूरोप में यूज होती है नेचुरल गैस वो मेजरली किस फील्ड में यूज हो रही है मेजरली वो हाउस होल्ड में यूज हो रही है दिस ब्लू कलर डिपेक्ट दी यूसेज ऑफ नेचुरल गैस इन दी कंज इन दी हाउस होल्ड कंजम्पन एंड दिस रेड कलर डिपेक्ट की इंडस्ट्रीज में कितना नेचुरल गैस यूरोप यूज कर रहा है तो यू कैन सी कि काफी मेजर पोर्शन हाउस होल्ड और इंडस्ट्रीज में यूज होता है नेचुरल गैस का यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दी हार्श विंडोज ऑफ यूरोप राइट और अपने घरों को गर्म रखने के लिए हीटर्स को चलाने के लिए उनको इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोवाइड करने के लिए यूरोप यूज दी uses the natural gas and along with this also to also to do what also to power their industry they are using them right now the next thing is that how much european union or the european countries are dependent on russian gas so kindly have a look at this if you see the major economies of europe like for example germany is dependent for how much percent for 49% which is a huge 
which you can say is a huge chunk theek hai 49% apni gas import ke liye wo russia ki gas par natural gas par dependent hai right if you talk about italy again italy is also dependent how much gas they are importing they are importing 40 6% of the gases from the russian russia or the russian natural gases then poland ki agar hum baat kare to 40% natural gas poland bhi import kar raha hai france definitely thoda kam kar raha hai but again 24% is also a big deal theek hai and not just this there are certain countries like for example north macedonia moldova theek hai ye to 100% apni gas import ke liye russia pe dependent hai so you can imagine how much they are dependent on russian natural gas theek hai agar hum overall europe ki baat kare तो यूरोप जो है गैस इंपोर्ट करता है ठीक है एंड इस पूरे टोटल इंपोर्ट का 40 परसेंट कम्स फ्रॉम रशियन नेचुरल गैसेस राइट नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग कि ओके दे आर दे आर सप्लाइंग गैस द रशियंस आर सप्लाइंग गैसेस टू द यूरोपियन यूनियन बट हाउ दे आर एग्जैक्टली डूइंग इट सो टू अचीव दिस वी हैव सो मेनी interlinking gas pipelines as you can see here we have so many gas pipelines interlinking the russia and the europe one may say the first one is the first pipeline would be yamal gas pipeline then we have blue stream pipeline we also have turk stream pipeline again which comes from russia to europe and the last and the most important pipeline is nord stream pipeline number 1 and 2 so let me just yeah this is nord stream pipeline number 2 ye hamare examination point ke liye kafi important hai because this remains is new in news and germany ne recently is pe kuch sanctions bhi lagaye the iske kuch certification process ko suspend kar diya tha germany ne we will understand ki germany ne aisa kyu kiya and we will also understand the entire concept of nord stream pipelines and there are two pipelines nord stream pipeline number 1 and 2 we will understand both of them their location their exact location or germany ne aisa kyu kiya the reason behind it so as you can see here in the map this red color line okay this is nord stream pipeline number 1 which is working or isi mein abhi russia ne 60% supply ko cut off kara hai theek hai isi ke through okay this this blue color line which is running parallel to the red line is nord stream pipeline number 2 right but this point you need to remember that it is not इन फंक्शन राइट नाउ ये अभी अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन ही है आई गेस नाइनटी परसेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन इसका पूरा हो चुका है बट वो कंप्लीट होता उससे पहले ही जर्मनी ने इसके सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस को सस्पेंड कर दिया है बट वट डू वी मीन बाय वट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाय सस्पेंशन ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस सो सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस सस्पेंड करने का मतलब है कि अब आगे उसमें कोई भी कंस्ट्रक्शन का काम नहीं हो सकता विदाउट द अप्रूवल ऑफ जर्मनी बट वाई जर्मनी डेट दैट जर्मनी डेट दैट बिकॉज because germany we know is a nato member and germany was against russia in the russia and ukrainian war and this is precisely the reason ki germany ne iska construction rok diya hai right so this is the location and everything about nord stream pipeline moving ahead now the next question could be ki okay agar kal ko russia pura ban kar deta hai sare uh, gas pipelines ko ban kar deta hai natural gas ka uh, export ban kar deta hai to what are the alternatives which european union has so the first alternative which european union will have will be lng lng is liquefied liquefied natural gas right now what do we mean by liquefied natural gas it is a natural gas only it just hum usko compress karke liquid mein convert kar dete hain so that uska transportation easy ho jaye if i talk about the ratio between the gases and the liquid it would be 1 is to 600 which means 600 kg of gas would be converted into 1 kg of liquid after what after compressing it so that transportation jo hai iska ho easy ho sake right but there is slight disadvantage of uh, using lng as uh, alternative because ye thoda sa expensive padega european nations ko abhi jo wo russia se export kar rahe hain uske comparison mein ye thoda sa expensive padega but i guess uh, Russia has, uh, I mean, uh, the Europe, uh, the European Union or the Europe countries has a proper infrastructure for LNG, and I think it won't be a big deal for uh, Europeans to to switch to the LNG. Next is they can also they can also start using the hydrogen energy. Up uh, then the third alternative is they can also start importing the natural gas from the other countries, and those other countries could be 
the first country would be Norway. You can see here, this is Norway. They can import, they can start importing from, they can start importing natural gas from Norway. Norway is a Nordic country. We all know this. It is situated at the northern part of Europe only, right? Then the next country they can import the gas from would be Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, as you can see here, it's situated at the boundary of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, right? And third and the most important country is US. You all must be wondering that, okay, US be natural gas export karta hai, hanji bilkul karta hai. In fact, US holds the second rank in LNG exporters. As you can see here, first rank is uh, holded by Russia. Okay, after that, US comes, then Qatar comes. These three positions, I want all of you to remember at least these three positions for your prelims examination. They can ask you about the rankings. So, you have three positions, so at least remember these three positions. For LNG exporters, okay, the US जो है वो second number पे आता है and US is also targeting to become the world's number one LNG exporter, right? Now, though we have talked about so many alternatives the European Union has, ठीक है अगर कल को रशिया बंद कर देता है supply, तो European Union has some of the alternatives. But still, many of the reports and many of the analysts are of the opinion that 150, yeah. 150 to 190 billion cubic metric per year. ठीक है, this much amount of gas Europeans are importing from Russia, and analysts are of the opinion that it would be little difficult to achieve this much. ठीक है, to to replace this much of gas from these alternatives we just talked about. ठीक है, so ये थोड़ा difficult होगा achieve करना in such a short span. ठीक है, but हम आगे देखते हैं कि वो कैसे achieve करते हैं, क्या exactly करते हैं. So that was all about today's topic. आगे जो भी developments रहेंगे इस topic में, we will keep covering all the developments. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much.